Hi, in this video I'll be going over the Sony Walkman NW-ZX1. If you've heard a thing or two about this, you know that Sony advertises this Walkman with high resolution audio playback, or as Sony calls it, high res audio. Now what makes this particularly interesting is that it's the first serious audiophile grade digital audio player that's produced by a mainstream brand like Sony. So let's get straight into the product. Now for a digital audio player that costs about $750, the box is actually quite simple and you'd be you'd easily mistaken this for a cheaper mobile phone or just a simple generic handheld device if it weren't for the high resolution gold stick on the top. And if you open the box you're actually greeted with an even more simple and minimalistic box as so with only a metallic Sony logo now I actually quite like this uh, new minimalistic Sony boxes because in the past Sony's boxes well to put it quite simply they're too clustered and don't actually look very great but with this it's simple and it gives that sophisticated look, but you know, whatever, it's a box. So we, if you open this, we're greeted with the ZX1 unit itself. And the box interior is lined with, you know, some felt material, almost silk-like. We have the device here, easy to take out. We'll have a look at this later. And if we pull out this tab, we have the instruction booklets in here in this smaller box compartment and we have an included some sort of false leather case proprietary Walkman data cable and charge cable that's also USB of course and some dust caps. Now you may have not just noticed that Sony hasn't actually included any earphones with the package and you might think well you're paying $750 to $800 for a digital audio player so why isn't Sony throwing in some earphones and yeah I'd agree with you but you know if you think about it logically for a player that's $800 and produces state-of-the-art sound quality. What kind of earphone could Sony include that makes this a worthwhile player and truly shows off the sound quality? You know, you, you're going to talk, you're talking about $300, $200, $400 earphones and well, in order for Sony to price this at $750 to $800, by including earphones that make, make the sound quality worthy on his MP3 player or high resolution audio player as you might call it that's going to increase the cost and quite frankly I want to buy the digital audio player at the lowest possible cost because I have my own high quality earphones so let's get into the unit now one of the first things you'll notice about this player is that it's actually a very very good size and the build quality is actually quite excellent but what do you expect when you pay this much money for a premium digital audio player? Now the shell is actually aluminium, full aluminium, and that houses a 4 inch screen. The earpiece is actually a single brass piece, and the rear is a false leather feel. On the side you have Aluminium buttons, physical buttons to control your music, previous track, pause play, next track, volume down, volume up, and power button or sleep. And the back you have another Walkman logo that houses uh, the speaker grill, NFC hotspot, and a Walkman port. Now the only thing that sort of sticks out is actually the top piece which is actually plastic as opposed to aluminium. The reason why Sony has chosen to do this is because the top area actually houses the 
antenna for Wi-Fi and blue and Bluetooth. If Sony was to continue the aluminium design, that will actually interfere with uh, radio signals. So I think it's a good compromise. Another thing you might have noticed is that it's actually not a symmetrical device. There's a raised area where the earphone is. Now the reason for that is because this actually houses the components which make this a very very special digital audio player. It houses the amplifier and the digital to analog conver conversion chips. What makes this debut is the new Sony S-Master HX chips and apparently what that does is it gives very very good uh, and clean analog signals that feeds into balanced um, amplifiers and if you don't know what a balanced am am amplifier is that is that there are separate left and right channel amplifiers that feed audio signals into the left and right earpieces of your earphones and what basically what that means is you get very very clear stereo sound stages so that's the body of the ZX-1 let's get into the software side of things and boot this thing up now when you boot this up you're created with what looks like very very standard Android fare it does pretty much everything you can expect from an Android device you know your apps and your standard widgets so definitely from an Android user point of view this is actually quite a good device because you're very very familiar with the layout of everything it's actually a dual core based device so it's not exactly a beast of a spec machine probably gonna get very similar to Samsung Galaxy S2 speeds 1 gigabyte of RAM and a sub HD LCD with Sony's triluminous mobile software pre-installed to improve contrast and color ratios. Now before I get into the sound quality there are a lot of skeptics about this device simply because it's an Android based device but let me just say that because this is an Android device this makes this so much better than a lot of digital audio players on the market quite simply because the music uh, accessibility options you have are almost endless thanks to the App Store. Now one app that really showcases why having Android on a digital audio player is advantageous is the app called Bubble UPnP. Now what this allows you to do is stream an audio signal from the internet that's broadcasted from your computer so basically you can have access to your large terabyte hard drive of music anywhere in the world so if you had a large wireless data plan on your mobile phone you can tether it to this and basically listen to any high resolution audio anywhere you want so what I have here is we're on my Windows computer and I've actually loaded a few bar program and put in a few high resolution Michael Jackson bad tracks. I've launched the UPnP app on the Sony ZX1 and connected to my wireless internet. So if we go back to the Windows computer and select the device, it would detect the Walkman. And if I select that and then play a track just like this the music now plays from my device wirelessly and as you can see here yeah, it's played as a 24-bit wave track so as you can see the possibilities of music consumption is endless thanks to the Android OS on combined with a digital audio player. Now in terms of music playback, Sony actually includes lots of uh, enhancements 
via the apps. We go to sound adjustment and we have Clear Audio Plus. Now what Clear Audio Plus does, it, it gives a very very fun sounding equalizer setting to all your music you play through the device and it's not quite successful in everything you hear but so it's a bit of a hit and miss but you know sometimes you might want that fun sounding uh, sound stage rather than the you know crisp and studio accurate sound and that can also be boring sometimes but you know I often leave this off because you know that boring studio sound, sounding sound is exactly what you want and exactly what you pay, pay for so we go to sound settings we have the standard equalizer you'd find on any uh, Sony phone so if we go in here setting further settings we can see we have DSEEHX and what DSEEHX does is it upscales a lot of your lower bits rate tracks such as mp3s or whatnot or flax that weren't encoded very well when you're ripping from the CD so in my opinion it doesn't change or you won't notice tracks changing very much but on the every odd song I do actually hear a big improvement so I don't know maybe perhaps that's just my mind playing tricks on me or this is actually a very very useful thing to turn on in any in any case the Sony advertises their new S Master HX DAC chips with this feature so I tend to just turn this on otherwise you're not getting what you pay for and there are a few other um, options you can choose from that basically either enhance the rear speaker or enhance line out audio to external speakers. Unfortunately I can't actually dis uh, demonstrate to you what this sounds like through a YouTube video but what it does sound like to me is that this gives a very very clear and very very wide sound stage in terms of its audio quality and what that will feel like is particularly when you're wearing earphones is rather than sound feeling like it's inside your head it's, it feels like it's outside of your ears almost as if you're wearing headphones even though you're not um, I think that's a very very good quality very very good quality of this uh, digital audio player because that's definitely not what you can get from the smartphone uh, music quality and particularly when you use high quality in-ear monitor earphones like as I use I use the Sony XBA H3 which is a 16 millimeter driver combined with dual balance armatures you're only gonna get very very great fidelity in a very very wide sound stage which basically yeah it makes it very very enjoyable to listen to although one problem I've actually read on the internet is headphone users according to the specs on the Sony website the amplifier only produces 15 MW's per left and right channel that's not quite enough for the large headphones that people might use and audio files enjoy and a lot and therefore a lot of people have complained about the audio quality of this digital audio player quite frankly in my opinion I think if you use headphones on something portable like this is it's quite a waste because if you're going to use headphones it's not exactly very portable anymore and it's going to be a bit hard to sort of whack out when you when you're taking a bus ride or train ride when you got smaller IEMs or in-ear monitors this is a very very small and potent uh, combo which you can enjoy high quality uh, sound almost anywhere so I think if you stick with earphones which personally I always stick with earphones anyway thanks uh, due to their convenience um, it's a very very good sounding device but yeah, as I said I, it's unfortunately I can't show you on this video what it can sound like so if you happen to 
see this in a store or there's a display model in, when it's coming out in somewhere in the next few months in different European or American markets you know do give this a try because it may remind you what sound quality was all about before the boom of mp3 and smartphones so the Sony NWZX1 do I think it's worth the price tag of 750 to 800 dollars well the simple answer is yes if you're looking for a very very high quality digital to audio player that's several levels beyond the audio quality of any smartphone you're definitely going to get your your money's worth because compared to the niche brands low volume niche brands that you can get for the same price you're not going to get sound quality equal to this audio player's level so if you're looking for a very very streamlined digital audio player that uses a soft the OS or software that you're familiar with this is definitely a great choice so thanks for watching and I hope uh, this video has changed your opinion of the Sony ZX-1